Hello everyone, our today's question is show that the circle through the three points, the normal at which to the parabola y square is equal to 4ax are concurrent at the point h comma k. Now it's given that on this parabola y square is equal to 4ax, we're going to select the three points. On this three points, we're going to draw a normal and the normals are meeting on a single point that is h comma k, they are concurrent. One more thing, from the three points, if we draw a circle, then they are saying the equation of the circle is this is the equation of the circle we need to prove. Let's start with the equation of the parabola only, y square is equal to 4x. So let's say this is our y-axis and this is our x-axis and this is our parabola, y square is equal to 4x. Now here if we select the three points, let's say P point and at the same time I'm writing the parametric point T1, this is Q point and the parametric point is T2 and this is R point. And here we're going to draw the three normals. So the first one, the tangent is this and let's say the normal to the at p point is something like this 90 degree here and on q point the tangent is this and then this is the normal meeting at a single point h comma k now at on r3 if we draw the tangent is something like this normal is something like this passing through this point so these are the three normals are concurrent at h comma k so first we're going to start with equation of normal drawn at t point now t has three values here that is t1 t2 t3 so in general in the terms of t the equation of tangent is y is equal to minus 3x plus 280 plus 80 cube here now this t has three values that is t1 t2 t3 now since all the normals are passing through the single point that is h comma k, I'm going to rewrite this as I'm going to write this as a t cube plus and I'm going to collect the coefficient of t that is 2a minus h into t and then minus y is equal to 0. Now this is a cubic in t that clearly means there are three values of t that is t1, t2, t3. Now I'm going to write the three results which are very common for this equation and I think you have seen this results also previously that is the first result is t1 plus t2 plus t3 the sum of the values of t is equal to coefficient of t square that is equal to 0 so this is our first relation I'm going to use this later on similarly summation taken 2 at a time so summation of t1 t2 will be equal to coefficient of t that is 2a minus h upon coefficient of t cube that is a so let's say this is our second relation and the third one, the product of all, that is t1, t2, t3, will be equal to minus or minus plus, you can say this is not y, this is k, it should be k actually, sorry, this should be k because I have substituted h comma k in the equation of the normal, should, this should be k, so k upon a, so this is the third relation. Now I am going to find the equation of the circle in the next slide. Now let's start with the equation of circle. So in general, I'm going to write the equation of the circle. The equation of the circle is x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. Now this circle is passing through a particular set of the points. The set of the points are at square comma 280. Because I think you have seen the point at1 square comma 281. Similarly, at2 and then 83. So I'm going to substitute this point in the equation of the circle because the circle is passing through these kind of points. The moment I substitute, I'll get this as, here I'll get this as a square t raised to power 4 plus, I'll get this as 4 a square t square here plus 2 a g, here we'll get t square plus, here we'll get this as 4 a f t plus c is equal to 0. Now here if you observe we are getting a bi-quadratic equation that means how many values of t are there? There are four values of t. The values of t are t1, t2, t3 we know and the fourth value let's say t4 from my side I have taken. Now I am going to write the general result for this bi-quadratic that is from theory of equation. I can write from here the first one is t1 plus t2 plus t3 plus t4 is equal to coefficient of t cube. Here the coefficient of t cube if you observe it is equal to 0. Now from the previous relation the sum of t1, t2, t3 is equal to 0 that means these three values are equal to 0. That means clearly this gives us idea that is t4 is equal to 0. So the fourth point will be the origin for sure because if the moment you substitute at square here and 280 here it will give you 0. 
if it is passing through 0 comma 0 that means the constant in the equation of a circle will be equal to 0 and I can prove it again one more way there is one more way we can prove it is passing through origin but directly I have written 0 comma 0 it's passing through origin now the second result is the summation taken two at a time that is summation of t1 t2 that will be equal to coefficient of t square that is 4a square plus 2ag here now summation of t1 t2 the term which is containing t4 obviously all the terms which is containing t4 will be equal to 0 so if i simplify we'll get this as t1 t2 plus t2 t3 plus t3 t1 and the rest of the terms which are containing t4 will be automatically 0 this will be equal to 4a square plus 2ag and i forgot one more thing i didn't divide by the coefficient of t raised to power 4 so this should be divided by a square here and this should be divided by a square here now here we have the result of t summation of t1 t2 so i'm going to copy the result of summation of t1 t2 that is here h is there so 2a minus h upon a is equal to 4a square plus 2ag upon a square so 1a will cancel out with 1a and the remaining a will cancel out with this remaining a here so here we are getting 2a minus h is equal to 4a plus 2g now the thing which we want to calculate in order to calculate the equation of the circle is we want to calculate g the value of g and we want to calculate the value of f if we get these two values we'll get the equation of circle so from here we are getting the value of g so g i can write here that is uh, negative times of i can write this as 2a plus h upon 2 so this will be the value of g so let's say this is fourth equation now all we have to do is calculate the value of f we'll get the equation of circle we are only one step away from getting the equation of the circle previously we have calculated g now i'm going to use one more result that is summation t1 t2 t3 product taken three at a time will be equal to negative times the coefficient of t that is minus 4 a f divided by coefficient of t raised to power 4 that is divided by a square now if i open this i'll get t1 t2 t3 similarly t2 t3 t4 and so on so the terms which is containing t4 will be automatically zero and rest of the terms will be only t1 t2 t3 only remaining that will be equal to here a and a will cancel out minus 4a 4f by a now from the previous slide we know the result the product of t1 t2 t3 that will be equal to k by a so k by a will be equal to minus 4f by a so from here a and a will cancel out the value of f is equal to minus 4 by k here so sorry minus k by 4 here now i'm going to substitute the value of f and g in the equation of the circle now in the equation of the circle that is x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy and if you take c i already taken c as 0 you can prove the c 0 by taking the fourth result product taken all at a time so c will be immediately 0 here now i'm going to plug the value of g and f here so we'll get x square plus y square and then if i plug the value g here you will get minus 2 times that is minus 2a plus h divided by 2 into x and then here minus 2 the value of f is k by 4 and then multiplied by y is equal to 0 so from here this 2 and this 2 will cancel out this 2 and this 4 will cancel out remaining i'm going to take the lcm that is 2 times x square plus y square minus you will get here minus 2a plus h into x minus here you can write here ky is equal to 0 and then 2 times here sorry after taking lcm so this will be the equation of circle and this is what we wanted to prove as you can see from the first slide this is our objective is completed and that will be all